Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm making a remake of my Midnight Moon Bars uh, and oh they're so pretty and fun to make. It's a two-day process so on day one I have to make the moon embeds to go in there and on day two I pour the night sky which is an activated charcoal background for the moon. Um, a little bit sad to <laughs> report I'm doing this as a repeat video. I was cleaning up my film and I accidentally deleted the um, actual making of the moon embeds. I was so frustrated with myself. Anyway, so I'm going to tell you what I did right now. <laughs> um, I have my two inch PVC pipe molds that I use for my little moon embeds and I tried something new. I've had uh, several people suggest to me the freezer method of unmolding. Normally I put a little flexible uh, silicone liner in here. It's just a flexible chopping block that I have cut to size and the molds it just slides right out but I do get a little seam from the um, from the cutting board. So there I've been told you just pop it in the freezer for a couple hours before you unmold and it'll come right out. Well it did come out, <laughs> but it took a lot of muscle. So if I, please, if you have success with the freezer method of unmolding, please let me know. Um, I mean, it did come out, but um, I don't know if I will repeat that or not. It was a little stressful for me getting these out. They came out, the moons are there. So let me tell you about them. I use aloe vera is the liquid portion with some cane sugar, um, and Tussa Silk and Sodium Lactate was in the aloe vera. And then for the batter, I colored with a little titanium dioxide on um, for the moon and then a silver pewter mica from Brambleberry I used to make the craters of the moon in, in the pot swirl pour. Uh, the fragrance that I'm using, and the reason I did the titanium dioxide was because the fragrance does have a little vanillin in it. Um, and it's called Honey, I Washed the Kids from Bee Scented. And it's kind of a goofy name, but it's not a goofy fragrance. Let me tell you, I have my phone here. How they described it is honey with a splash of citrus and floral uh, notes blended with warm vanilla musk. And it does, it smells great. I don't know why it has that name, but I think it's a dupe of something. It smells wonderful. That's the fragrance I'm using. So I got the moon embeds made on day one, deleted the footage telling you about it. Anyway, we'll pick up on day two after that where we do um, activated charcoal backdrop for these wonderful moon embeds. So come along as we make some really <laughs> fun out of this world <laughs> midnight moon soap. All right, I've got my oils and butters all melted up here together and I'm adding my additives. So I already have my colloidal oats, my coconut milk powder, and kale and clay. And now I'm going to add my activated charcoal in the oils here and get it all blended in um, before we add our aloe vera lye solution. There we go. And I will also go ahead and add in my fragrance right now because I'm not doing any swirls or anything. So I just want that to get really anchored in here with the kaolin and the charcoal. So get that blended, let it sit for a little bit while our aloe vera lye solution is cooling down. Um, oh, and let me show you, let me get this blended first, then I'll show you something. All right, so I wanted to show you, I didn't film getting these out of the molds. Um, I put them in the freezer overnight and they did come out, but it took a little muscle and this one had a little um, scrape on it, but uh, it did come out. I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing this in the future. Of course, then all the condensation as these thawed out, um, they sweated a lot. So I have them on, I had them on here to sort of just air dry out. So now they're pretty dry to the touch and I have to get them trimmed to my mold size here. So I'm gonna cut off my little, um, my little melt and pour plug at the bottom, which again, that's working out fabulous. The melt and pour in those little cups makes a great plug. So just get these trimmed up. All right. And then we'll get ready to move on. Okay, all the prep work is done. I've got all the good stuff in here. My aloe vera lye solution has um, sodium lactate, cane sugar, and tussa silk fibers in here. So that's all ready to go and cool down. 
I've got my embeds all cut and measured to the right length. So all that's left to do is get rolling here. Let's get our lye solution poured in here and then um, not a lot going on. Just stir it up to emulsion and get pouring and all that good stuff. And I split that fragrance between, so half of it went in the embeds and half of it's in here. Or not half, but the, the proper amount. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to stir this in pulses, make sure we have emulsion, and then we'll just get to pouring. Got a nice light trace, so I'll just pour some down in the bottoms here and uh, wait a minute. I want them to suspend the moons. I don't want the moons to sink all the way. So I'll just pour a little and then um, wait just a minute before we lay the moons down in. It's been 24 hours and it's time to get our midnight moon bars out of the mold and see how those moon embeds came out on the inside. And there they are, midnight moon. And I put a blanket over um, the molds to help force a good gel phase. And I was hoping, and I got little steric spots, because to me they look like little stars kind of out there in the galaxy. So pretty happy with that. And then I put the little bio glitter on top to sort of make it like a starry night. <laughs> 